That's right, guys. There was no question today that the Oklahoma budget crisis was going to be the main topic for Governor Fallon's State of the State address. Fallon urged lawmakers to break the partisan gridlock. North Oval with more on President Boren's announcement. Yeah, Reagan. guys, a shock heard around the state is what I would call this. The OU family saw Bob Stoops step down back in June. And now today, President Boren announces his retirement just three short months later. But the elections come at a time of voter frustration over years of budget shortfalls. Democrats have already won three GOP held seats in special elections this year. An OSU coach charged with fraud, GOP aims to help dreamers, and Trump steps away from NFL talk to announce a visit to a ravaged Puerto Rico. This is OU Nightly. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we've had some cool, crisp, we sure and have. clear weather here in Oklahoma yes. lately. Yes, Nightly's Reagan Ledbetter was there. Reagan, did it come to blows? No, there weren't any blows. The atmosphere was tense at times, but in the end, cooler heads prevailed. When will the budget problems be solved? Good question, but Republican leaders say they are pushing for a quick resolution. Back to you guys at the desk. Then it makes its way here to your lunch and your dinner. Fresh produce that is homegrown just out the back door. Reagan Ledbetter, oh, you nightly. Aww. Guys, I'm here at the Bazell Library where tonight this place will be lit up blue to honor the start of Autism Awareness Month. The event is being put on by a student group called Autism Speaks You. Now remember, this bill needs 76 votes to pass. It is unclear right now, however, if it will pass, but there's a lot of doubt about how it will help the state of Oklahoma after 2019. Not a lot of positive things have been said during this whole process. The Sooners held their annual spring game, but the celebration afterwards landed two players behind bars. Highly tied prep star quarterback Chris Robinson made his debut on Saturday, but found himself busted for public intoxication and was booked early Sunday morning. And another Oklahoma murder trial has resumed a day after a key witness broke down into tears and could not finish testifying. Shannon and Kepler, a former Oklahoma police officer, was charged with killing his daughter's black boyfriend. Whether it's wildfires, tornadoes, earthquakes, or an even active shooter, the end goal of this week and today is creating communities that are aware and prepared prepared for any type of disaster. The conference continues on through Wednesday. That was a great play he right there. He should have been on the sidelines with the cheerleaders, I think. I think so, too. I mean, he can get up Who there. cares if he's stuck to land? He got a touchdown. That's all that matters, right? That's I mean, that that's, in that's the seven and right there. And maybe Washington State 37 to three. Yep. Whether it is creepy or not, these rock hard walls show that this underground getaway is the top spot for students to go during tornado season. President Boren says for students and families, OU's recent cost cutting efforts are paying off. But one area where prices continue to rise is the cost of textbooks. And we found one person who is trying to help. When it's tornado time here in Norman, anyone is welcome, not just students, even Cats and dogs. And I love that show. My you parents do? love That's it too. Awesome. I, I do, I do. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, Andrew is back for a weather tidbit yeah. of the day. Yeah. What do you got? I went to the rally expecting to find people who still hold on to racist beliefs, but I spoke to a lot of the descendants, and I believe that's a part of their past that they reject. Bourne made it a point in a tweet after he spoke today that he wants to keep the momentum of the university going for the next nine months and beyond. Back to you guys. No, this is not an obstacle course. This is just the ongoing construction mess on Lindsay Street. While it has been going on for over two years now, to some, it feels like an eternity. The chaos has made a simple stop for a burger anything but easy. We're actually just in for the uh, for the uh, a couple of days, getting ready to head out, and you know it's been kind of hard for us to get around in here. And you know you kind of can tell that some of the businesses, you know, are are suffering from it. Yeah. While revamping a main entrance to the university is key, a safety improvement was one of the main goals for the project. It had a crash rate about three times higher than a street of that category nationally. So it was unsafe and it was way too busy. So we had a lot of problems on that street. The people that use Lindsay Street for transportation are less concerned with the safety, but more so with the bumpy congested ride being over. The positives are coming soon. We're going to be creating a four-lane street, which is amazing. It's going to get more capacity, going to be safer, allow cars to go around when people are turning. But then we're doing a lot of stuff that's going to be aesthetic. We've really spent a lot of time with that. We're building a center median down the middle, which is going to give us what we're calling the triple canopy. So we'll be able to have trees on the outside and trees down the middle. The project is following a Cherokee Gothic-themed brickwork similar to the university. The remodel is not only designed to help drivers. 
So we're really trying to make it a place where it's pedestrian friendly, uh, beautiful, and we're hoping that that will really add to that corridor really gaining in the future and becoming something really nice. Oklahoma is not alone in the controversy over teacher pay. Day three of a teacher strike in West Virginia shut down all schools, making the map of the red state even more red. But Oklahoma is right there with them at the bottom of the barrel. Now the question lingering after Step Up Oklahoma was voted down, will Oklahoma see a statewide teacher strike as well? I don't think unilateral teacher walkouts are going to happen. I think that from what I've talked to, my, my teacher friends are smart. They're like, well, we need OEA, we need AFT to back this thing, like in 1990. In 1990, half of Oklahoma's 36,000 teachers went on strike after the state Senate killed an education bill that would include pay raises. Many are pointing fingers that that will happen again, but the issue is, in 1990, there was a bill ready for action on the table. This year, there isn't. So a strike could go on indefinitely. The attempts to raise revenue have failed so far with the penny tax and Step Up Oklahoma. We need proper funding. We need uh, the respect returned back to our teachers. We need more than just lip service, which is what we've gotten up here. In 1990, Oklahoma was ranked 48th in teacher pay. Fast forward nearly 30 years, the state is now 49th. 30 years ago, West Virginia went on a strike for pay raises. Now they have again. It's not just about teacher pay. Please don't think it is about teacher pay. It's, it, that's not, that's one part of it. It's the respect or the lack thereof for uh, uh, it, really pretty much people in the legislature towards educators and public educators especially. It is unclear whether teachers will participate in a walkout, but a school shutdown is still possible. If things don't change, I think we really could see a teacher, uh, uh, a full school shutdown statewide. Budget cuts to education are mounting adding salt to the wound for teachers in Oklahoma. Both parties continue to scramble to find a solution as the state education department stands to lose $16.2 million. Reagan Ledbetter, OU Knightley.